1871, 17 Chinese immigrants were murdered in the largest mass lynching in American history. In 1882, the Chinese exclusion was passed. And by 1924, all people of Asian descent were prohibited from entering the United States. In 1942, President Franklin Roosevelt signed Executive Order 9066, incarcerating 120,000 Japanese Americans despite any evidence of anti mass activity. Although these acts of blatant discrimination have been repealed, barriers still remain. The stereotypes held against Asian Americans have prevented them from progressing, resulting in a lack of representation across all sectors of society. From Hollywood to the workplace and everywhere in between, the resounding message from Asians is clear. You don't belong here, we don't want you. From a young age, I noticed that very few people in the TV shows and movies that I watch look like no one in Hannah Montana or the Wizards of Waverly Place had the same straight black hair, monolith eyes, and flat nose that defined my identity and how I looked. At first, I thought that might have been a coincidence. Maybe it was just a few shows that didn't feature anyone who looked like me. But as I grew older, I realized the harsh reality. Very few Asians ever get roles in Hollywood movies and TV shows. A study by the University of Southern California found that of the top 100 films of 2015, 49 did not cast a single Asian actor. The roles, or lack thereof, that Asian Americans are a reflection of society's values. White people and whiteness. There are not nearly enough roles for Asian Americans, but even worse, roles are specifically meant for them often get taken by white actors. This is called whitewashing casting a white actor to play a non-white role. The most recent example of this was Scarlett Johansson's role of Motoko Kusanagi, a traditionally Japanese character in the film Ghost in the Shell. Not only did she take one of the few leading roles an Asian American actor could have received, she completely denied doing so, highlighting the lack of awareness surrounding whitewashing in the entertainment industry. But even when Asian Americans do get roles, they only serve to reaffirm the stereotypes that people are in. Women become submissive secretaries in exotic sports. Men become nerds, doctors, and kung fu fighters. Because Asian Americans do not get much screen time, we are not able to learn about them and understand them beyond the stereotypes they're portrayed as. Hun Bantu, a Thai actor, explains his experience as an Asian in Hollywood. Despite attending the world-famous Yale School of Drama, the only roles he received disregarded his acting skills, only focusing on his execution of the Asian accent. For many people, Hollywood movies and TV shows are a place to find their role models and inspiration. For my white friends, they are Hannah Montana. For my Latina friends, Alex Russo. But for me, as an Asian girl, who did I have? The panda in Zootopia? <laughs> the nerds in Mean Girls? I had no one. All I wanted to see was someone on television who looked like me. Someone who I could identify with, someone who was going through the same struggles with me. But all I saw were glimpses of two-dimensional characters that didn't represent the reality of being an Asian American teen. I can do that. Hollywood clearly doesn't want us. But hey, at least you can be doctors, right? After all, it's either that, or lawyer, or engineer. Unfortunately, reaffirming the idea that we can only be these professions is just as detrimental to Asian Americans. The idea of the smart, hard-working model minority has created an implicit bias that we are great thinkers, however we lack the assertiveness and communication skills to lead. Research has found that Asian Americans are 150% less likely than their white counterparts to be the executives at large of the Valley companies. It's true that we are well represented at the low and medium levels. However, we are severely underrepresented at the top. Unfortunately, this lack of representation has sent a message to the younger generation of Asian Americans that all we are good for is doing math and science for people at the top. But that is not what most of us want for our future. As an Asian American teenager, am I quiet and submissive? No, I'm actually outgoing and I'm not afraid to speak my mind. Am I going to be a leader someday? Yes, but not of the math team or the science team. I'm going to be the CEO of a fire company. America's stereotypes are trying to define Asian Americans, but they don't. They won't.
But even if I and other Asian Americans try standing up to these elites, they don't just go away. The more successful we become, the more our fight for equality is ignored and illegitimized. The more assertive we are, and the more we speak up, the more we are penalized for violating the stereotype of these submissive Asians. That is the common story of the model minority. Undoubtedly, the struggles, the prejudices, the stereotypes we face are not and may not be comparable to those of African Americans and Latinos. But that doesn't mean that our own fight for equality can simply be ignored and glossed over by society. So, what can we do to fix this? I believe it is the job of Asian Americans to stand up. Sure, some of us may be quiet, but that doesn't mean all of us are. Society has constructed the mold of these smart, quiet Asian. However, instead of feeling obligated to fit that role, we should just embrace who we truly are. We must show America and we must show the world that we are not just our stereotypes. We are making strides in the right direction, though. Companies have begun to talk about the importance of Asian leadership in all sectors of society and recognize diversity across all Asian cultures. Shows such as Fresh Off the Boat, which features an all Asian cast, have opened America's eyes about Asians in America. It's time for Asian Americans to hold leadership positions from lawyers to executives to politicians. It's time for Asian Americans to be casted in their rightful roles and not as the local grocery store owner. It's time to shift the message away from exclusion and towards inclusion because we belong here and we are American just as much as you are. Thank you.